Hello there. Banger alert, banger alert, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? It's your boy, Ellie Moses, your 24-year-old law and film shooting him in Australia, absolutely shooting his shot. Today, we are up to episode 7 of The Soprano Season 6. This one is titled Luxury Lounge. Just get into the episode. Let's absolutely run it. Let's go. Two guys from Italy. That's the two guys from Italy. You guys speak English? Not the same too much. <laughs> Not the same too much. <laughs> They couldn't provide a photo? In a while, since we opened the books, and uh, in regards to you guys, Bert, Jerry, as a man of few words, I... Not few enough, though, huh? No blood! No blood. Sure, we break some balls here tonight, but I go way back. And in light of recent humiliations, it's an honor to be joined by men. And not faggot-ass, cornhole and cocksuckers like married my cousin. He oh, should fucking much. die. Whoa, 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 Bill, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You know the wine makes you emotional. Because I got an empty fucking stomach. So I have a breadstick. 45 minutes for some grilled eggplant? Jesus Christ, is there nothing without this complaining? You didn't notice? Artie's game's a little off lately. Uh, Artie, you been to this, uh, that Giovanni up by Troy Hills? No, I haven't been. Supposed to be incredible. He's a kid, right? I hate fish, but his with the agro dolce. I'll check it out. Bon appetito. Time. Is dissing Artie like that on the spot? Fucking Calling him out? That, that's humiliating for the guy with already mental problems. Like, fucking filth. It's on display, huh? Made a visit to Vito's Gumar Joe. She still hasn't heard from Vito. We're just discussing Lacajo fat. <laughs> I was gonna get my cousin Tommy to call his detective friend. I've been hamstrung with that work stop to the office park. Tommy says the guy can track somebody from the corn in his shit. Yeah, I should <laughs> do that on CSI. <laughs> <laughs> You're not present. Good. So what is it, business or time off? Hollywood stuff, time baby. Time off from here, but definitely business. What Ben Kingsley told you. So you're going to go get a photograph from the uh, weekend of the Notre Dame Michigan game? I got my guys all over. Little Carmine says if we attach Ben Kingsley, the pictures will go. Little Carmine. That's common knowledge, the guy's retarded. <laughs> I don't get it. You agreed to this in the hospital. Christopher, I was in a coma. I'll call a little Carmine, call the airline, cancel. Probably still reach somewhere. What am I going to do with you? Make a lot of money. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> Move your car, we're late. Ma stung vicina Delta Barco, Emma Sagesh Bayada. Move it, automobile. Move your stomach, Viajava Mongopa, Stay! Don't forget to call Marissa. Ma you know such. Is the second guy gonna pull up from the other window? Steven Mongopa, Stagranda Strado. Museum. Eastern Parkway. Eastern Parkway, not the Belt Parkway. All right, that's a successful hit. Okay, Rusty gone. Job well done. For well, the business side of things, I'm just saying. That's crazy, man. His wife just talked to him from the balcony and he got whacked. Poor Rusty. In the Navy, he cooked. Terrific guy. Great head of hair. <laughs> you enjoy. Oh. Save room. I'll be back with dessert specials. Oh, Vesuvia is looking Jack. hella empty. How's the you got a quorum, let me get you a table. You guys go ahead, I'm gonna stay right here. Shit, she's busy. We just had to help. I mean, I even called in a favor with my cousin in Manhattan, got her at work. I gotta go to Albania. Bam! Martina, come do some hosting. Hi. Hey. What's up? This is your <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Hello, Benny. You got the reservation squared away? It's very few right now. Football season. 
to watch her walk away all night. Good, because like most girls with you, that's what she's gonna do. <laughs> uh, be young and single again like these two, Benito. Uh, Adi just throws me off sometimes. He just tries to get involved a little too much, or he, I don't know. I just feel like he's really lonely. That's why he tries to engage with all the customers and you know just. I don't know. I just feel like mentally he's not there on the outside of things of Vesuvio, so. Really? We're hustling toppings like that? That's haram, man. You can't be at a strip club like that. I should have called them out a long time ago, but come on, man. The lamb ragu is just a scoop of cold regard. Holy shit. And it's all so fresh, that fish with pistachios. I feel like a trader. A lot of fish There's talking this episode. <laughs> it's depressing somehow. Maybe they need a remodel or something. I don't know. That menu is so tired. Hey, Homo Junior! Leave the fuck alone! Ow! Get out! Stop it! Miles, hurting you! Homo Junior? Oh, that, that, oh, shit. Homo Junior. That's the. She can't hide a face at home. That's a diss and a half. After my pop. No restaurants in Brooklyn? Yeah, gotta come all the way to Jersey? This food? It's worth a detour. Why, is there a problem? Buddy's a friend of mine. You know, I like to throw him some business. <laughs> John, he said to tell you he appreciates the recent headlines. Rusty, I don't know what you're talking about. I turned him down on that. <laughs> I don't know. You're a cautious man. <laughs> you know, some people might feel a little offended. Me? My heart is an open book. Anyway, Rusty's gone. Chalk it up to the headless horse. Giovanni. Bravo. Damn, that juxtaposition cut. The full restaurant, everyone clapping. To the emptiness of Vesuvio's. Yo, Benny! Martina was just telling me that in Montenegro, I'd be the tallest guy. <laughs> some facts from the Balkans. Ben, you up for dessert? No, I'm all set here, thanks. Martina, sweetheart, can I talk to you for a second? What is it, Arnie? I thought Charmaine and him were getting back together. You're looking at me very serious. You remember I had that friend in Manhattan that was gonna help speed you through the green card process? Apparently, it's not happening. Why? Wow. Too much on his plate, he said. I guess you're just gonna have to do it yourself. I'm sorry. All those forms, shit me. Because she saw it. But really, it's a small inconvenience compared to living in freedom, right? Yes. That's dirty, Artie. That's dirty. That is dirty. That is dirty, man. Like, get him another book. I'm sure Benny can help with it. He'll have contacts. There's another Arab in the trio now. Oh, it's a trio now of Arabs. She won't fuck herself bad, I'm sure. Could be worked out. Nah, <laughs> I could. But you? Well, what do you want me to say? Nothing. It's just a fact. And if I knew you were going to be in such a pissy mood. Gabriel Adante and Rosalie Acro came in for lunch yesterday. Oh, you want to fuck one of them now? Oh. <laughs> Gab said you all went and had a meal at Da Giovanni on Sunday. Well, I was going to tell you, it was uh, Phil's grandson's confirmation. It's a pain in the ass. What are you going to do? You got to eat. It's nothing special, believe me. Oh, yeah. Actually, Tom got uh, a little sick after. Too much oil, she thought. Gab said I should check it out. Tom got sick. Nice touch. <laughs> it's a business obligation. Uh-oh. Last time I heard that, I had to call the fire department. Oh. Well, maybe we need another fresh start to fuck up. <laughs> I should go. Damn. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Have really? another one. Come on. I know where you are. It's... I gotta plan the menu for tomorrow. I love how Artie told Tony, I know where your heart is, and then um, Bill told Tony himself, My heart is open. Like it was just the two conversations um, with the one who he holds as a dear friend, and one he's really cautious about talking about the heart. One's talking about Tony's heart, and the other one's talking about how his heart is open. <laughs> My old man's meat guy. He said that the restaurant business was like keeping an elephant, it costs a fortune, and sooner or later it shits on your head. I miss him. Oh, so he is back with Charmaine. Branches off the Fiorentinas. People want to talk to each other, not you. Really? 
You know better than New Jersey sex. Arthur Bucco, warm and convivial host. <laughs> he is nice to his customers, but sometimes you gotta know your limits and boundaries. A little's too much. Or well, Artie's a little bit too much. Yeah, we're here right now. Sure, the broad strokes. Okay, this is going to be pure cinema, I'm telling you. Chris and little Carmine in LA, Hollywood, baby, having these meetings. And if Ben Kingsley does make a cameo, I'm going to laugh my head off. But little Carmine in these meetings, we saw what he already did in the meeting with the writer, talking about his producing credits. And Oh my god, this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Kingsley's agent says we uh, grab lunch tomorrow poolside. That guy, Jay? Yeah, I got him out of some trouble on a party out down the Keys. Ben Kingsley. Can he do a New Jersey accent? Welcome to the Viceroy. <laughs> hey, Viceroy. <laughs> I usually send the bags up, hit the bar, decompress a little, unless you're against it. What are you talking about? You're an AA. Gave the stewardess an earful when she put down the champagne. I just don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Relax, I can deal with it. Why has Chris always got the speed dealer like glasses on now? Because Unless he's hiding something with his eyes. Pretty soon we're going to have to put a high chair right here. <laughs> yeah, see? A, a, there's too much. There's being a great host really and there's too much being of a great host. Right, not great host, but a bit too inquisitive. Hey, Artie. Come here. You ready to order? Why are you kicking her ass like if you're referring to the fact that she's my employee and I'm telling her what to do, last time I checked, that's the way it works. She thinks you want her to cry. I said not true. She told you that. Because you two talk all the time. Yeah, so what? So maybe you should hire her. What's with this hostile people. energy, you're man? You're a people person, obviously. I am. And when they're good to me, they get treats. And when they're not, well, I got this severance thing I do. It's a complete break, actually. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> See, because you talked around that thread so much, I almost missed it. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but Arthur, you have to plate the salmon. See, I, I know Artie's under a lot of stress with the business at the moment. Um, the business doesn't seem to be flourishing as it was uh, once was. Um, the production lines are being cut. And I know he's under a lot of stress. And I, I guess maybe he's trying too hard to get to please the customers and make sure they are pleased. Um, when sometimes a little nice warm greeting, that's all it takes. And I feel like the problem with Artie at the moment is that he doesn't know how to ball his stresses and deal with them outside of Vesuvio's. He tends to take it out or the other individuals like Benny or like Martina, for example. Um, you know, just because she was hanging out with Benny and they were getting along well together, he cut the green card or whatever with her. And then you've seen it even in the earlier season, him and Charmaine, they take their frustrations out on each other in business hours. It's not good to do that. It's not a good look from the old country. You are just picking on her. It's disgusting. He's a married man. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Back on the coke, really? So it's 500 for the hour. 300 for half. What? And if you want to keep scheme, that's extra. All right, Eden. How's about 400 for 40? Four more lines, and then we'll take it from there. That'll work. That's expensive. That's USD. Those are some amazing tits. Thank you, sweetie. I am not going to deny that. <laughs> Carlos running right. I'm 23. They think there's a sniper. <laughs> Listen, the other night, it's this place. You know, ropes a little tight in my collar. Is that a Kennedy reference with the sniper Route 23? I, I I might be reading too much into it, but there's a lot of Kennedy references and like a sniper on the road, on the route. Like, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down 40% from last year. Oh. That's a lot. That's that, To be fair, that's a lot. Like, a little help from you? God, no. Oh, there's the gratitude I was looking for. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not at that point. Thank God. But thank you. Salad wagon. This is a fine dining establishment. I'll give it back to the bank before I turn it into a fucking IHOP. Just send a waiter over here. You want to help me so badly? Try paying your tab. Excuse me? Whoa, Don't whoa. Roast you and the waste management people too for Dick Barone when he got sick? 40 fucking garbage men from around the country? Of course you paid Pat Cooper. You paid the entertainment. Didn't the tab get lifted with the little French fiasco? Hello, my name 
my brother, the one older than me. Wow, taking money like that while reading the sacred text? That's a new one. Guys, this is like 30% of my business here, and I can't fucking spare it right Buddy, now. Please, don't curse. The minute you use profanity, you give them the high moral ground to do whatever they please. We need copies of your reservations and a list of anyone who has access to customer plastic. Just asking, Jay. Ben Kingsley! <laughs> tell me again. <laughs> Why am I meeting with these chaps? Oh, oh, bollocks, Jay. Bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks! Oh. Who's ripping off Artie? Is that from all the tabs or no? Like. Anyway, we appreciate that your time is less than limited, so I'll cut to the chase. Log line. The ring meets the godfather. Wise guy, murdered, I guess you could say, seeks revenge on the man who ordered it. You would play that man. Who are you kidding me? It was Ben Kingsley. You play the boss. I heard this idea. I call <laughs> Jay and I say, Sir Ben Kingsley, no one else. <laughs> well, you know, as ever, it's script dependent. Oh, we got a sensational writer, JT Dole. I'm embarrassed I haven't heard of him. Oh. He's from TV, uh, Nash Bridges, Hooperman, Law and Order, the SUV. So there's a script. We wanted to surmise your interest and then tailor the part to your specificities. No uh, one plays a tough, ruthless, hard-hearted prick like you do. You got it down, trust me. I take that as quite a compliment. It's crazy, these guys are the ones usually being sucked up to by other individuals and now they're sucking up to the celebrities because they're out of their realm here, all right? This is not their territory. They're going into uncharted waters and yeah, they got a nice up Ben Kingsley. <laughs> sure, sexy beast. Now. We do have a short list of directors. We could go A-list down the horror genre, Ridley, Toe Pooper, or we could try to find the next James Wan. He did Saw. Did you see that? Fucking brutal. Betty. It's Ben. How are you? What on earth are you doing out here? You're insulting the man's intelligence oh, here. <laughs> the guy is in the entertainment industry. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce Miss Lauren McCall. Lauren, this is Carmine Tazzi and Christopher... Moltisante. Huge fan. I have a shot to you in about 10 minutes. Wow. But let's, let's catch up. Absolutely. Great to see you. Thank you. As always. <laughs> so nice meeting both of you. Enjoy your success. Uh, that reminds me, I have a scheduling problem. This meeting was last minute and I'm supposed to be at the um, luxury lounge at two. Yeah, but we haven't even gone to the particulars yet. Go luxury walk. lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going very well. You okay? You seem a bit distracted. Fucking so Ben Kingsley, so Lauren Bacall. <laughs> and he bit on the coke, you know. We're offering the full services of the spa today, huh? including massage. Listen, we're thinking about Sam Rockwell for the younger guy. Is that a good chemistry <laughs> for you? Can I offer you champagne? Maybe later. Yeah, this is, this is completely... <laughs> this is not their world, Sorry, man. Costa de la Lingerie, Sir Ben Kingsley. <laughs> take an extra large in these. <laughs> <laughs> for man, white and worn is giving this cashmere thrill. Great for the airplane. And here, one for the car. Thanks, yo. A lot of guys are going with the classic stainless chrono. Oh, my God, some would love that. He's having his birthday in three weeks. But for me... This is elegant. It really is. Take the chrono, too. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> the celebrity treatment. <laughs> Is all this shit free? I'm getting that. <laughs> we have to hustle for it. <laughs> New York City. Pam has a you hear that noise? The pop you. noise? Thanks, Pam. So Kingsley, they uh, do this all the time. So Ben, actually. Sorry. A couple of times a year, mainly clustered around award seasons. How is that even fucking possible? I know, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I know I have one of these. Shelly from iRiver. 
I don't know if you have this one. It's got 20 gigs of space and a tiny package. That's 80 hours of video or 600 hours of music. Shelly, can I get one of these? Hey, guys. <laughs> I ate up all our time here. What do you say we cash up in New York? Hey, we guys. Tables. We're going to make that work, Sir Ben. They're giving away a caddy over there. Well, no, it's just a test drive for a couple of weeks. You know, my family gave me some sunglasses for Christmas, so... But don't you have these? I bet they look great on you, Chris. I don't know, you think? Sir Ben, can we get a shot? <laughs> this is a different playing field here, maybe. You're on a different turf. We have no intention of pressing charges. It's just got to stop. That's all we want. Any questions? No, no second chances, man. They're out. Understand, this is not about a 42 ounce jar of Moroccan olives or a couple of rolls of toilet paper here. This is our livelihoods. Are you looking at me? Nobody's looking at anybody. I didn't take the toilet paper. But the olives? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you don't come clean to us, those investigators, well, they just might question the honesty of somebody that wears a coat pulled from the lost and found. Fuck this. No, fuck you. I don't know which one of you pieces of shit did this, but I've been good to you. And you pay me back with nonstop ass rape. Well, fuck off. I thought the magic trick was going to work. You know what? I understand Arnie in this situation. If someone's undercutting the business like that, you know what? Just forget it. I, he has a right to be frustrated. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, no, don't be sorry. There's a fraud amongst your Thanks. ranks, man. No, no, it's very bad. They had the credit card police. Those companies are huge. They come on tough, but in the end, they got to eat it. Okay. Is it Martino? Working with Benny? I don't know. Everything okay in there? For once, I'd like to eat without you getting a call from Mark. Mark. Yo, Benny, you got a beautiful wife too. Oh, come on, man. Like, God damn. Even the rabbit eating the produce. Ah, oh, that's not good, man. Everybody's stealing with Artie. Even the, even the rabbits. Even the rabbits. Even Bugs Bunny over here. <laughs> really? You gonna pull that thing on Tony and not shoot him, but you're gonna shoot the rabbit? Motherfucker. What the f What do you want, a repeat performance of the 4th of July? That cop told you. No firing guns in the borough limits. I brought those arugula seeds all the way back from Italy in my shaving kit. Aiden, get the fuck out of there. Fuck off. I wasn't going through your purse. I was moving it and it fell. Go fuck yourself, you guinea bastard. Room 812. That's a new low, man. If you're stealing uh, drugs from a woman's purse. Hey, so Kingsley. That's low. Is this uh, Moltisanti from yesterday? I spoke with Jay, and he's working on that New York meeting right now. Fine, that's not what I'm calling about, though. That, uh, that luxury lounge thing. Can you get me in there? I don't know. My publicist handles all that stuff. So can you call him? I don't know how my publicist can help you, you know? All right. Yeah, in the city then. My partner went back. Friend of his died recently. Guy's wife is having a breakdown. He'll call you. I got the meeting. Oh, everybody knows you're upset. I know. But Alonzo's coat, you told me that in confidence. Oh, I thought you needed to know. I also think, well, it's probably nothing, but yesterday Martina was showing off these Cavia sandals. I know she makes more than me, but they cost like $600. You should get back to the coat company. Hey, last episode, I like how we're leading on from Hold last on. episode instead of the theme of like, you know, it's the ones you least expect, okay? It's the ones you least expect. <laughs> I knew it. I'm sorry. I'll pay you back. What? How Dina! Could you you how so could you? Like helping you find the apartment? Teaching you to drive? As soon as you found that I wasn't going to fuck you, you started picking on me. I want to <laughs> fuck you. You certainly have a high opinion of yourself. You stare at me like food. Well, I never fuck you. I go to Benny and we laugh at Benny. you when I fuck him in the pile of money that we take from your stupid customers. You're fired. Scotch you. Oh, yeah? Oh, who's laughing now? Oh, what do you think? I can't press charges because of my friendship with Tony? 
Three months you worked here. You think that doesn't go with your permanent record? We lead the world in computerized data collection. <sighs> I, I, I talked about it last episode as well. And I said the benefit of having a 20 plus season um, episode now or episode, sorry, a 20. 20 plus season um 20 plus episode season is that we get to spend more time with these characters and we get to you know um see their problems outside of the world of tony and his family and last episode we delved into Vito, he the problems he's having with his sexuality and that how that's affecting him and how he has to go on the run and this episode we're spending more time with Artie. then yet again we get more um in depth into chris and you know him falling down um into those old bad habits yet again this is Benny's house. He gonna do something really stupid. Artie, you know what time it is? We need to talk. Now? My wife is pregnant. She needs to sleep. Martina told me about your little credit card business. Step outside, Benny. You're upset, right? But it's not my fault that little trick got greedy. Oh, so she's a little trick, huh? I was gonna cut you in, but now you're acting stupid. The regular people are all fucking stupid. You don't wanna pick a fight, Artie. Last time you picked a fight, you got whacked as well. You want and you had to send food to to fix it up. Piece of dog shit. Little crazy motherfucking meatball dog shit. Not Benny again, man. I didn't expect him to be in this episode that oh, much. Oh, there he is. How you doing? Great, thanks. This is Murma. You heading to the pool? Massage. Murma's an interesting name. What's the genesis? <laughs> I had a hot Murma when I was a kid. They just keep handing stuff out, huh? The coolest shit in the world to the people who need it the least. <laughs> hey, you guys hustle that stuff. Look, I think you've misunderstood something. I give most of that stuff away to homeless shelters. The rest I give to charity auctions. Not to your godson. I agree with you. The whole thing's obscene. And it's nothing compared to the situation at award shows. Presenters get about $30,000 worth of merchandise in those baskets. That's a year's salary for some people. Go figure. That's crazy. Hopefully we can spread some of that lolly around. I, I like how this... To that script. I like how this episode, you know, I, I like how it delves into the themes of like the real world aspect um, versus the mafia stuff. And there are some real questions as well. Like people work like... Their, heart, their ass off all year um, to, you know, earn that $30,000 salary while these celebrities just get it gifted to them at award shows in a basket, let alone like $30,000 worth of that stuff. And I like that distinction. I like how Chris, because even though they steal that stuff and, you know, they obviously they come from a background where their families had to work hard to get to where they were. They had to, you know, come all the way from Italy to the US, you know, it's that cultural distinction again, which I love that this season's exploring. I really love that stuff. And even you get it with the Arab people as well. Um, last episode with Meadow going off about how they're treated in the legal system. Um, even the Italians at the beginning of the episode, the hitters talking about, you know, the 9-11 site and we have to go visit there. You know, it's that cultural distinction. And then the mafia individuals who usually run things and usually imprint their fear on other, like imprint their authority on others. You know, Ben Kingsley, I don't think he was really phased there and he was just saying how it is. And I don't know, he, you know, I guess he even showed some appreciation for it. I guess it's the perks that comes with his lifestyle. It is what it is. Um, you can't do nothing about it. That's just how the Hollywood system, that's how the entertainment industry is. And um, I don't know. I feel like he was being genuine and honest to Chris right there, like calling it out for what it is. You know, I gift all this stuff out to homeless shelters and charities. I don't need it. Um, you even saw in his room before, you saw like um, the Lacoste box and all the clothing behind him as he was sitting and getting the call from Chris. And I like the distinction between the two rooms, how Chris's room was completely filthy. And then you know, Ben Kingsley was neat, tidy, clean, but he still had the perks behind him and stuff like that. 
from the luxury lounge and they do live that luxurious lifestyle so it's it, it, it's a commentary um that i feel like can be discussed in the comment section below in terms of like the mafia yes they work for that i guess like they they call it work they go out of there they you know have these business deals they have everything all these businesses running and flourishing but they live that luxury life as well they can purchase those things but um i just feel like he saw that ben kingsley was getting it for free when i have to go and purchase these things i have to steal it and stuff like that um you know it's just a different life completely from what they're seeing like i said they're stepping out of their comfort zone Ah, <laughs> uh, where do you think you're going, buddy? <laughs> you lost your fucking mind. Shit, you're in with that kid. What you brought on yourself? Brought on myself? Oh, I suppose you let a certain element into your world. You're asking for it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Tony! How could you pull that scam at my place? Come on, you know I never would let that happen if I'd known. You're innocent. I get it. I'm just another victim of Benny Fazio, criminal mastermind. That's right. Found out instead of putting him in the ER, you should have come to me. He says he's gonna kill you, Artie. I can't take American Express now, Tom. You know what that means? I have to start with the fucking toothers. My account insisted. You happy? Life's not fair, right? I know. But somehow I believe my dad's crap about honest work. He used to say to me, You'll see. Pays off in the end. What a joke. I hate to see you, like this. You know that. Could you start thinking crazy shit? Yeah, we've seen it before. Who's hungry? <laughs> ben Kingsley passed. Fuck. Uh, well, at least we I get to get to another cameo, friend. maybe. I sent a muffin basket with the script. I tried everything. <laughs> every you can kill me after. If you want, but he's a fucking dead man. Calm down, Ben. He right? came to my house, Tony, where my wife was watching TV. My wife, who's carrying my unborn son. I'm gonna take him to that warehouse in Patterson and drive fucking nails nails into his balls. <laughs> I'll get a first time. Benny's a good soldier, I feel like, for Tony. So yeah, he... Sean, huh? he showed us his cannoli on the ultrasound like a monkey. <laughs> That's beautiful. Benny Jr. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to tell you this once. It's over. You drop it. Now, frankly, you should be very happy I'm not going to tax you. I mean, beside the fact you know I grew up with the man, you don't shit where you eat. <laughs> and you really don't shit where I eat. I know. <laughs> Literally. That, but... And your parents' anniversary party? It's not going to be a Di Giovanni. It's going to be a Vesuvio. What? Tony, look at my face. He's going to apologize to you and give you a rape. He's hurting too. And it's the least you can do. You got to suck this one up, Benny. You got to suck this one up. Well, Miss Bacall, your limo is second in line there. Oh, well, I can take it from here. You sure? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, okay. you're welcome. Good night. Good night. Get the fuck away from me. What are you doing? Oh. Is that Chris? Can you help us? Don't die! <laughs> Ms. McCall, don't move. Yes, an ambulance by Robinson's May. Jesus, my fucking arm. <laughs> the Tulfas, the Tulfas. There's a line outside. Okay, Sandy, open the door. Hello, welcome. It's all elderly people. Do you have low salt selections? <laughs> Come on, pop. Order whatever you want. I'm having that morning deal. That's the other place, Mom. Oh, uh, that's the Giovanni's. Ah. Well, I hope you all enjoy. You're all set for wine, cocktails. Great. Nothing? Fine, thanks. Benny, can I get you a martini? Oh, really? Excuse me? A martini. It's like a martini, but it's from Albania. <laughs> I never heard of that. Well, apparently they go down real easy. All right, Ben. He's testing Benny's limits here. I'm going to look at the menu. 
<laughs> Good enough. Yo, Artie really testing the waters there. He lucky oh Benny didn't pop a cap in his ass right there. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Ow. Ow. Ah. 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 Get oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the... Somebody call 911, please. The complete opposite right there with Benny walking in doing the hit and run on Artie. And then obviously I think Christopher doing the hit and run on Lauren Bacall. And she's like, my fucking off. And he's like, my head. And then <laughs> Charmaine's like, somebody call that one. Oh, Was filler like the brand in the day? <laughs> Far out. They had to get back one on the industry. They had to get one back on the industry. What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> I have no idea. I'd have booked another flight. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> this is Christopher's opportunity. The next, whatever, how long that flight is. Father-in-law don't want to come. Him and Carmo and speakers. How's the meat hook? Had to be my <laughs> today. Huh? Why? Got no cake crowd here today. Sunday pasta is the last thing to go. The place is on life support ever since word got out to the regulars about their credit cards. And my staff is pissed off about Martina leaving. Benny did a real number here, Tony. Who knows? Maybe it's cursed. Fire than this. You stop talking like an old lady. Artie. No, no go, huh? Ah, he's just being dramatic. Hey, he remembers what she did at that birthday party. You two are looking at each other pretty soon. We're gonna have to put a high chair over here. He's in the same joke again. Like really, Artie? Okay, Kabish, keep your thumbs out of the food. We gotta talk about your problem. Oh, great. Another idea. How about a strolling accordionist? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you the name of a good psychiatrist. She's Italian. You'll like her. <laughs> You know what? You go about in pity for yourself. I go about in pity for myself? I gotta tell you, buddy, Zod, but that is fucking priceless. Use the other door. You bitch and you moan. And you blame everybody else for your problems instead of maybe not letting the Mexicans do all the cooking for you or, uh, <laughs> or changing the menu or changing the decor. <laughs> I guess because you know how to eat, you know how to run a restaurant. I'm one of the bleakest nights of my life after the shit went. My mother and that fucking storm outside. I came here to this place. End of season one, baby. There. We come and we two kids and we ate and we drank and we were so happy to be here. More than any other place in the world. And you know I'm gonna eat here until I fall off the chair. But in business, sometimes shit happens. The playing field changes, whatever. You gotta do whatever you gotta do to keep your dick up. If you hate it here so much, why don't you go to Dr. Ron? See if he'll cook you that bland shit for your shot of pancreas. Is that the same door? Like the same sort of uh, little I'll window that Artie was looking at or looking through in the test stream behind Nobody Tony? To hear you talk. They're trying to eat out there and you come along with your corny jokes and your stupid stories. Just stay in the kitchen. I'd be a star. Some hard truths there. I know it hurts, but you gotta take this one. You gotta take this blow. Get Charmaine to talk. Hey, you won't believe what these people in the business get. Totally fucking absolutely gratis. Yeah, I hit the streets are paid with hand jobs. Right. I scored some major swag. A little taste for you. Trip to Australia. First class vouchers. Woo! Some kind of golf resort. Looks like Sarasota. After a what, uh... 20 hour flight? Oh. I know who that's going to. <laughs> Satisfactory. That's for a pocket dog. 
Well, not for nothing. I couldn't help but thinking if you were here watching your crew, things wouldn't have gone the way they did. You let me go, T. I asked you. Now it's my fault Artie and Benny got into it? This is what I was concerned about, Christopher, the loss of focus. Look, not many guys have had to make the kind of sacrifice I did. How many times are you going to play the Adriana card? That's a big card, man. That's a massive card. That's the card to end of the game. I just a couple. Kitchen's closed. He said they were supposed to go to the city, but they had car trouble. They're going to have to eat what I give them. Maybe this way you're at home, Adi, in the kitchen. Hook it up yourself. Oh, this is some crazy recipe you're about to cook up. Adi about to cook. Abba, Adi about to, you know, create the best recipe ever. One and done himself with one hand. Davy Jones style. Like rabbits. Oh, it's the grandfather's rabbit. way, only with Provencal elements I've been thinking about. I thought you were taking it to him at the home. Okay, out. I want to get out of here tonight. That's the rabbit he shot in his own backyard. <laughs> hey, he had to skin the rabbit and he lost a layer of skin on his hand. Hey, it's cool that Artie is finding some inspiration here. You know, from Tony's story as well. He came... You know, their car broke down, similar to Tony at the end of season one in the rain. And gave him the happiest time of their life. But like a cool memory. Oh, that's David Chase, isn't it? Because I remember him from the episode in Italy. Yo, these guys did a hit. Bought some merchandise and took off on the plane in a matter of hours. <laughs> I think that was David Chase. It, it, it seems like whenever there's like an Italy scene or like uh, something to do with Italy, he's like, I'm going to insert myself. It, it's crazy how the writer of the show right there um, is sitting next to two killers. Because <laughs> he's absolutely slayed the writing himself. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that was a decent episode of Sopranos. I like it. And like I said, um, I really... Whenever I see Chris in Hollywood, uh, like, because it's a dream of mine as well, I, I, I get addicted to that storyline, or I just get immersed into that storyline a bit more. It's the same with the D, the, 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 the D girl episode, um, and it's the same yet again here. I just, I just love seeing it. I just love seeing it, and I just love seeing these mafia individuals interact um, with another world. It, it almost seems like another world, because we're so accustomed to New Jersey and New York and their lifestyle um it's just cool to see him interact with something else i like how the show deals with that yeah a lot of people you know they want to deal with the the mafia stuff the hits the wax and stuff like that but i feel like at its core this show isn't really about the hits and stuff like that the business and the blood and gore um i don't know i just love how it deals with the mindset of these individuals the way they think and how they cannot escape this game um you know it's bad choice road as a uh, uh, better call soul put it and breaking bad put it it's bad choice road and it's a road you cannot escape chris has tried it multiple times and he still can't seem to get out of it and yet again he ends up copping the blame for something Tony, you know, allowed. It, it's it's a shame Tony puts it back on him. And I just feel like ever since that meeting um, at the start of season one at the barbecue or at the end of season one, I can't remember where Tony pulled Chris aside at the barbecue. He's like, it's either you pick there or you pick me. And as soon as Chris picked him um, and, you know, you know, uh, sided with Tony, that's it. He was never getting out of there. That was that blood bond he made. Um, that was sort of that binding contract. That's it. You're forever bound to Tony Soprano once you once you did that. You had your chance. You had your chance. And now um, it's almost as if he's trying to do a little side quest that's the, obviously distracting him. But it's, it's a distracting side quest because he told Tony how rewarding it's going to be. And he came back with these. It wasn't Benjamins. He didn't come back with Benjamins. He saw Ben. Ben Kingsley. But he didn't come up with Benjamins. Obviously, he came with a few perks. But... It wasn't as glamorous as he hyped it up to be for Tony. 
Um, and if he's going to continue being distracted by this side quest, Tony's not going to have, um, he's not going to be patient with it. And I, I really like that episode. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction uh, as I'm enjoying this series. The, I can tell the rewatchability factor of this show is sensational. Anyway, guys, as always, been your boy, Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.